and who use these scripts, it's, it's easy to underestimate you know, what that means, as if they don't have their language. And in this old boy, we saw that, in fact, he needed the scripts to kind of control what was going on. But in fact, right behind it, uh, he really did have access to the dilemma, the feeling, and the fears that he had. Yeah, there are lots of children with just his profile. Mm -hmm. And there's a mistaken assumption made mm -hmm. in the field that this is part of the syndrome. Mm -hmm. You know, this right. is part of Asperger's syndrome, or this is part of uh, a high-functioning autism syndrome, or this is part of uh, some other pattern mm -hmm. that's uh, a right-sided learning disability, you know, because of the motor planning and visual spatial, and that therefore it's relatively fixed. And mm -hmm. the best you can mm -hmm. hope for is a child who uses their words and is bright, but is overwhelmed with fears and anxieties and always has weak visual spatial thinking and always has weak motor planning and sequencing and it will always feel overloaded. And we find from our clinical experience this just isn't the case. Right. It's just simply not true. And there's no evidence or data to suggest that it is true because there's no data on working with kids systematically, expanding their affective range as well as their ability to reflect on feelings and doing that for a number of years with them and then seeing do they make progress or don't they make progress. And without such data, it's a mistaken assumption to assume that they are fixed into this rigid pattern. Right. There's just no data to support that assumption. Um, we need longitudinal follow-up of children in optimal intervention programs. We've seen it clinically in cases we've worked mm -hmm. with. We've systematically seen it in a number of cases where we've lo looked at. But we need more longitudinal studies to document that most of the children have more flexibility than, than we think. And so, while one doesn't want to assume that there's no flexibility, one doesn't want to assume they say that every child has enormous flexibility. Mm -hmm. It's case by case, child by child, uh, but a child with this many strengths that mm -hmm. we saw here, like Spencer right. and children like Spencer, they're showing you that they can reflect, they can expand their range, which we see it right in the hour we're working with them. Right. And imagine if we do this every day, which gets at the more formal elements of his intervention program. Uh, for him, we'd want to have a lot of floor time interaction just of the kind we talked about. Uh, he wouldn't, and we'd want to do this, you know, four or five times a day for 20 or 30 minutes. He's already engaged, he's already verbal, mm -hmm. uh, but we need to expand that range. And some of it has to be with daddy, mm -hmm. because the male, to, to particularly to, to male-child relationship is very, very important. And with daddy, it doesn't have to be pretend play, always it could just be hanging out and having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, the key thing is mixing it up, kibitzing, having fun, expanding that range of visceral affect experience. Yeah, very important not to join the anxiety, not to back off with this child, but to have fun, to kid him, to, you right, know, to kid really him woo him. Right, and when he gets overly anxious, right. soothe with him, right. slow down, uh, don't back off, but help him talk about right. it, but do it in a very soothing voice as we did here. Give him room, right. let him articulate it, let him go off on the couch, let him turn yeah. upside down, uh -huh. let him talk to you upside down, Sure. but help him verbalize, reflect mm -hmm. on, see that he can come back, regroup, give him power to right. be in charge. He can tell you when to talk, when not to talk. In the play, he's the boss. Right. And uh, so we want a lot of that with him, uh, with daddy involved too. Uh, we want to encourage, also as part of the floor time, a lot of peer play because they'll mix it up with him, with kids who are comfortable being verbal and comfortable. It could be children a little younger. Uh, and for him, the semi-structured work uh, need not focus on, should not be at all rigid, should not be at all have any drilling, because that's only going to mm -hmm. dig the hole deeper for a child who already tends to be, uh, want to be scripted. Uh, but the semi-structure work for him could focus on the visual skills. Right. And for him, we want to do some visual problem solving uh, by anticipating tomorrow. What's going to be fun tomorrow? What's going to be scary tomorrow? And mm -hmm. actually picturing it, and maybe drawing it out, or even acting it out ahead of time, and picturing it. And picture the feelings. Picture what you routinely do, picture alternatives. We call this problem solving with a lot of visualization. He's a good candidate for visualizing what he reads. When he reads a paragraph, to picture mm -hmm. that paragraph and then maybe play act it out right. or play act it out first and then, then visualize it. So we want a lot of visualization in his schoolwork. Math should be visualized mm -hmm. also. So we're working on the visualization. And then in the third category uh, for him, in terms of uh, he needs a lot of work uh, physically and motor wise. Right. So the SIOT, a lot of sports involving mm -hmm. looking, doing, a lot of music with rhythmic activity. And also, 
a lot of visual spatial problem solving. He's a good candidate for a real formal visual spatial uh, cognitive processing program where you work from the basics, not just tracking, but work mm -hmm. into the, the search strategies, work into the treasure hunts, work into the how to go seek games, but then work into matching shapes, doing mirror images of shapes, doing junior architect mm -hmm. kind of skills. So it becomes a good visual spatial problem solver as a support uh, for this using that visual system and visual spatial thinking in a more balanced way. And also that would really support a very critical piece for him, which is getting more into what we're calling sports. Uh, but lots of activity. He's a guy. He should be out there playing ball with his dad. He might take some Taekwondo, you know, which will have some more ritualized movement. But this is a little boy who's walking. You know, we want to be sure he's not. he can go out there and succeed. And there are a lot of different kinds of activities which are more individualized, so just with one or two kids that he would do better well, with that's right. uh, before he joins a team. Well, no, soccer would be, basketball would be very difficult. Very too much hard. happening. Very too much, too much happening. Right. But playing in, in the backyard with daddy and one other child with a big Nerf balls and trying oh, to bat yeah. it and trying to throw it and trying to kick thing, it, right. those are great. Batting stuff, dodgeball, uh, monkey in the middle. Yeah. For him, dealing with the unpredictable yeah, in exactly. playing is what we really yeah. have to looking, zoom in on. We have to do, do a right. lot of looking doing. The mistake right. we make sometimes, though, in the sports activities, because we don't want the team sports for mm -hmm. Who get visually mm -hmm. overloaded? Mm -hmm. uh, we may elect mistakenly so to do just swimming or just mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, taekwondo. Therapeutic riding. Oh, yeah, but mm -hmm. that doesn't give the looking doing part enough. So the kicking, the throwing, the catching is very important. Mm -hmm. So you can do the swimming and do the taekwondo mm -hmm. and do the therapeutic course like running. All that's great. But then in addition, just with right. mommy or daddy at home with big Nerf balls, not team sports, uh, do a lot of the looking doing games. That yeah, well has to really be brought back right. into interaction because where will right. we get the practice right. to go yeah. do that with friends yeah. and peers? So, so in an overview sense, what we're doing is mm -hmm. working on that affect to broaden it, to get it more spontaneous, to help him be talk about his feelings, mm -hmm. you to get more flexible with peers, and then strengthen his equipment, particularly right. that visual spatial processing system mm -hmm. uh, and the motor planning system to give a little further uh, sturdiness and stronger foundation mm -hmm. to expand that the emotional range. Right. And with this sort of a program, other kids we've worked with have made nice, consistent progress and get more flexible in their thinking mm -hmm. and much, much, much less fearful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think he can do very well with that because he's doing well and this will really open the world for him. Yeah. Okay. Good. Are you going to ask your sister if she wants a snake? Do you like a snake, Grace? Yeah. Ooh. Do you feel? He was perfect. Yeah. Mmm. That was excellent, but now I'm kind of thirsty. Mm -mm. Anything? 
anything to drink around here? I'm not sure. Uh, anything in here? Let's see. Nope, there's not any water. All there is is animals. Just animals. Hmm. Well, do you think you can make me something to drink? I'm, I'm not. I don't know. He has a baby bottle. <gasps> Are <Aren't> you? <laughs> That was excellent. Thank you. Right. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Ah. I'm really kind of tired now from all that eating. Do you think maybe you could um, find a some place for me to sleep? The sofa, there's a sofa here you can sleep on. That's soft. Oh, let me try. Oh. <sighs> That's great. I'm kind of cold. Do you think maybe you can find something for me? <clears throat> Look, Jay. What? Look, Jay. <laughs> hey. hey, I can make sounds like you. Oh, of course I can make sounds. Wait a minute. Like I'm, I'm kind of cold. Can you help me find something? First, I have to show you the sound I can make. It's, it's the sound you make. Oh! <gasps> That's the sound you make. You sound just like my mother. That's a great sound. That's my favorite sound in the whole world, but <clears throat> I'm still cold. <clears throat> find, out, find out why she's doing that rather than taking care of your coldness. Find out why. Hey, do you like making a sound like that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Why? Do you, do you want to be? No, find out why. Find out why. Hey, why, yeah. do you, why do you like making a sound like that? I just want to be just on the room to be like you because I only eat chickens and stuff. You only eat chickens? I only eat chicken, yeah. Well, are you a human or a coyote? Or a wolf. Wolf of you. I definitely am a wolf, but I can't find any food around here. All I can find is, is different farms. Different farms? Well, what do you do at the different farms? <coughs> you howl? <clears throat> yep. Why? Because, I'm, because I keep getting hungrier and hungrier. And that gets you food when you howl? Yes, and you can hear me. <coughs> like an octopus heard me. Well, what does he do when he hears you? I fight him. I like to eat him like a wolf. Yum. Is that yummy? Fine. But wait a minute, you didn't tell me what happened when you howl. The animals all come to you? Yeah. They do? That, that'll that make them hear me and they'll wonder what I am. So they'll come up to do a little closer look. Wow, that's a great idea. Can I try that? Yeah, howling. Ow! See, things come to you. Oh, I didn't see anything come to me. <gasps> what is that? A giraffe. Um, I don't think I've ever had a giraffe. Hey, you have a baby. A baby? I don't eat babies. But, you, but it's a baby giraffe. I know, but I just can't eat a baby. Yep, okay, you're around here. Hey, why don't you come over here? Well, I just really don't think I could eat a baby. Do you have anything else? Yeah. Or do I need to go, ow! Uh, you need to go, oh, ow, ow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
you need you need to howl. Okay. <laughs> Yum. I'm the big bad wolf. Who are you? <laughs> he just giggled. He giggled? Aren't you afraid of me? I'm mean and rough and tough. I can climb. Yay. Here I come. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Mm. He's jumping up in the air. Well, I can jump. <laughs> come on, just a nibble. That's all I want is a nibble. Just a little bit of your tail. Oh. <laughs> Come back! I'll feed I was teasing. Really, I just was teasing. Oh, you're really a nice yeah. guy. I'm, I'm really a nice guy. Come over here. I'll show you. No. <laughs> you have to eat mean guys. Um. Yeah, I'll eat mean guys. Are you a mean guy? No. No. What are you? Look at these nice. But look at these nice guys. Alligators. Hey guys, come over here. Are you really nice? Here, here's the bad guy. Hey, here's a pirate, and pirates are bad guys. They are? Yep, pirates are bad guys. They're always bad guys? Always bad guys. Oh, I know about pirates. Don't they live on the top of mountains? But when it came off of there, it fell. It, it fell off the top of a mountain? No, they live in the ocean, and it fell in the water. That pirate fell in the water and swam to the bank, I think. He swam to the bank? Then what did he do? He took his hat off. He took his hat off? Hmm. Let me see how it looks on me. Ah, uh, I'm a pirate. Ha <laughs> ha. But I want to be a nice pirate. Okay, you're silly, aren't you? Yeah, I'm silly. What are you? <laughs> the baby tricked you. The baby was trying. The baby was trying to trick you. Hmm. How was he trying to trick me? It's a baby. It's but really a baby. <gasps> he was dressed up like a fireman. No, he was dressed up like a pirate. <gasps> Why was he dressed up like a pirate? But but that hat was too big for him. I think it's just right for me. What do you think? It fits perfectly. It goes over your eyes, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't see a thing. That's because it's too big <gasps> for you. Too big? Oh, okay. Well, what should we do now? It jumped into the ocean. It jumped into the ocean floor. What did? <clears throat> the baby. The baby? Why did he jump into the ocean floor? Is this the ocean up here? He, he, he died. Like a, he died like a dolphin. Like a dolphin? Over the island. What island? Oh, he, he went over me. Daddy, where's my baby? <gasps> Why did he go over you? He dropped, he's, he's getting up on me and shaking off. doesn't really look like he's having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yes, but I was just trying, I was just trying, I was just checking off so I could do it again. So you could do what again? Swim. Swim? <laughs> Can I try that? Swimming? Yeah. Well, how do you do it? You, you, push you that. do your arms like this push and kick your arms off. Why oh, that baby I don't sad? have any legs. She's hungry. Why is she sad? Should I just wiggle my ears? No, why is she sad? Mm -hmm. You, you can try. Okay. She got sad for my Hey, it's fun. 
Isn't it working? Kind of. Glub, 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 glub. <coughs> Help. Oh. What happened? You were shaking because you didn't have any arms. Oh, oh, rats. Well, maybe I'll just sit here for a few minutes and watch you. I have a rubber band. Why? Looks like I. I took that. I took that horse's rubber band off. <gasps> My. Why do you think he had a rubber band? So he could. So he could practice kicking. So people. So he. So he would look super to people. He looks super. He does look super. He's a super horse. <gasps> what am I? What are you? Pirate. Fireman? Hey, miss, is there a fire here? And Dad is the king. <laughs> Dad is the king. Thank you, dear. Hey, miss, is there a fire anywhere? <laughs> I've got my hose. Where's the fire? <gasps> where? Where? Right there? Watch out. You see? I like the plane, though. I like what, the what plane, you think. Hey, time back just for Why? one second we'll let the kids play. One of the things that you're seeing is that she is extraordinarily engaged and cooperative and loves pretending mm -hmm. and loves imagination. But what we would like to see her be able to do is generate even more of the creativity on her own mm -hmm. so that she would take more of the initiative. Okay. Like you just saw a sequence where uh, little sister put her hat on you, you guys, and created the scenario. You know, it was the director of the drama, mm -hmm. and we would love to see her take charge of the drama, direct the drama. Mommy, you're this. Daddy, you're that. We're going to be doing this. Okay. Would, would 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 you agree with that? Yes. The it's just a to, to help her do that, we need to challenge her to do that so she'll get practice doing that. Okay. So, for example, the scenario frequently, not all the time, but half the time I notice that when there's a transition, you'll defer to her and say, well, what next? But other half the time, you'll sort of take over and suggest the next direction. Mm -hmm. And then she is a very good, responsive counter player. Mm -hmm. She'll play off of your, your ideas, mm -hmm. uh, but then she's filling in the blanks. Okay. You know, you're saying, okay, we're going to be wolves or lions or tigers or elephants, and then she'll say, okay, well, there's one over there, and very cooperatively, and adds in her own little creative touch to it. But she's not deciding the shape of the table for the debate. Okay. She's part of the debate, if you, if you know what I mean. We want her to be deciding the shape of the table and who sits with her. We want her to decide what kind of a drama it is. So to do that, like when her sister, I think, had just suggested, uh, what was it her sister had just suggested? Mommy, me. Which you took a, yeah, and then you took that lead, and I think that led to the Mommy, next thing. Mater. Let's say your sister suggests you theme A. Me? You might say, yeah. well, what do you think of that? Okay. Do you want to do that, or you, want, you got some better ideas? Okay. See, now that puts the ball completely in her court, as opposed to us deciding, yes, we'll do that or not. Uh -huh. So we create conflicts. Yeah. He's yucky. You're where she's got to come up with a bigger That's idea. Well, well, what do you think about what she's saying? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? So she's the judge. She's the evaluator. She's the okay. big picture thinker. Okay. Big picture thinker. Okay. Because uh, what we see is a little bit of a tendency to uh, jump from subject to subject sometimes without fully developing. So it get a little bit fragmented, but with, like with a lot I'm of rich Jamie ideas and a lot Jamie of rich vocabulary. And, I'm and, a, and a tendency to defer to other people to set the agenda mm -hmm. rather than setting the agenda for herself. And these really both have to do with big picture thinking. Because if you can do big picture thinking, you're more comfortable yeah. setting the agenda and creating more because you have the, you know, you can anticipate where you want to go mm -hmm. in the play. Whereas her play activities is more moment to moment. She's deciding second by second mm -hmm. what's going to happen, Ooh, not, like not anticipating where she wants to go in setting up the tea party or setting up the, <laughs> the school house or setting up. So there's not a lot of intricate subplots yet. Okay. Uh, would, is that Whoa! consistent with so what you're observing? back in her core. Yeah, so what we want to do, so if we help her become a big picture thinker where she's Whoa! creating the grand epic, mm -hmm. 
with lots of subplots, not just moment to moment ideas. Uh, that's going to help her be, take more initiative. It's also going to help her be less fragmented in her thinking because she'll have the big picture. Okay. So she'll see how all the elements fit together. So if she jumps from A to C, she'll pick it up. Okay. On her own, she'll say, oh, gee, I am changing the subject because, as okay. opposed to just changing it. And then you have to say, hey, but I'm still cold. What about me? Right. And he says, oh, well, I'm going to do this first. Okay. See, then you won't have to challenge her so much to do that. Okay. Okay? So that will get, help her get to the next level that we want to see here. So right now, her level is very verbal, very engaged. Okay. Right. Uh, follow, you know, can gesture well, mm -hmm. can focus and attend. Uh, but in terms of her age, not yet the big picture thinker we want right. to help her become. Right. Right. Or the synthetic thinker we want to help her become. And that will, we want to play that out in terms of imagination and in terms of just ordinary discussions. Okay. Okay. So let's jump back in. Okay. Okay. Mommy, go ahead. Well, let's let them play for a few minutes. Let's just, and now, while they're playing, you can serve as a kind of provocateur to get the, it even more complicated. Okay. So, you, you know, you can play off their play so that they play with each other. In the form of questions? Well, you can just throw in a curveball that they have to deal with or something to, We're to okay. you know, if you feel that the play is not mm -hmm. getting as challenging creating as it could be, you can be the provocateur. You can be the, the voice from the sidelines, or you can be the... The, the wolf who comes in to join them. You know, okay. you, either you can become a third player in the drama or a voice from the sidelines. Okay. Whatever you think would work best. Okay. Mom's talking. I don't like it. Ten. I want to put it back! Put it back! I want to put it back! Hey, what's all this noise over here? Oh, gee, thanks, but you woke me up. Find out what the, what the argument was about, Mommy. Find out what the argument was from both of them. Did I hear yelling? What's going on? Hey. Who was yelling? I was because I wanted to put it back and I thought she would like it. Why did you want to put it back? I was just no, no, let her find out why. I was just back through pop. What drink? When they're playing together, she sits around and put it back instead of you asking the why question, you get her sister to ask the why okay. question. Why did you want to put it back in the first place? So it's going to help her be the okay. chance so that they get used to complex dialogues together. Okay. So what? Now, can I talk to her in my own voice? Whatever. Yeah, any voice you want. Whatever he's going to. Grace, that looks really yummy. What is it? Cookie. But I'm, but I'm picking those. But, but the horsey's going to pack those up. 